this is going to be uh, ask the question, will Vladimir Putin be replaced by another autocratic maniac? So hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please uh, do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Yeah, so who, uh, what other uh, um, potential uh, autocrats are waiting in the wings to take over uh, Putin's uh, spot and uh, are they ready to push in and um, and make way for some new regime and will it be better will it be worse I don't know so we'll throw the cards on that and I think you'll like the deck so here we go okay so this will be uh, viewer, uh, Linda Joe asked the question thank you Linda Joe for asking the question and uh, will Vladimir Putin be replaced by another Autocratic maniac. I reworded it a little bit. Um, so, will Vladimir Putin be replaced by another autocratic maniac? <laughs> so, let's get these cards shuffled up. You're going to notice that these cards look a lot like regular playing cards. The difference is they have um, some divination here on the what would be the major arcana cards. And I've got to—I'll be honest with you—I've got a cheat sheet off to the side. It's taped to my desk, so I can't pick it up and show it to you. But it uh, just reminds me that, for instance. Um, hearts or cups etc and uh, and what the uh, major arcana cards are uh, 14 for instance would be uh, temperance so let's see how this goes i haven't used these cards for divination i bought them because they're an example of um you get cards that you use for playing a game and then that you could also use for divination and uh, i don't know they just seemed appropriate for this but the question is going to be then Will Putin be replaced by another autocrat? Will Putin be replaced by another autocrat? Will Putin be replaced by another autocrat? These work so well. They, they shuffle so nicely. So, first, just a moment of meditation. Okay. Okay, Vladimir Putin. Um, eventually, someone's going to replace him, and if when they do, will this be another autocratic uh, maniac? Interesting. I wonder if the cards are ready. That's why they're starting to fall on up on top of each other. So let's start with six cards. One, two, three. Four, five, okay, and six. Will Putin be replaced with another autocrat? Let's see what these cards can tell us about that question. So the signifier card, will Putin be replaced with another uh, autocrat? Okay, so this is the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords is typically an abuse of power. Okay, interesting way to start for signifier. Five of Swords, abuse of power. Will he be replaced by another autocratic uh, person? That's yes, I could stop right there. But what is that challenged by? So will Putin be replaced by an autocratic person? So this is the Queen of uh, Hearts. So that's the Queen of Cups. This is emotion. So, ah, that's interesting. So this uh, abuse of power is challenged by a great big uh, offer of uh, compassion represented by this queen of uh, uh, cups, queen of hearts. The base of this reading for will Putin be replaced by another autocrat. This is the knight of hearts. So the base of this whole thing, is, the knight is the uh, personage in the royal family who will fight for the, um, for the, for the charge that he's been given. And in this case, it's uh, uh, cups, which is uh, compassion and emotion. So interesting. The past of this reading, then, is the Three of Cups. Look at this. Surround, this autocratic person here is surrounded by compassion. Three of uh, uh, Cups, or Three of Hearts, uh, this would be uh, uh, 
celebrations. This is typically represented in the Rider Waite deck as uh, three people with the uh, kind of dancing around, holding up cups, having a celebration. Interesting. Let's see what's in the sky that's reading then. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is um, happy family, okay? It's uh, really having all those, your best emotional um, uh, uh, wishes or, or feelings or, or concerns, um, you know, come true. So that's in the sky. So this is fascinating because the question was, will Putin be replaced by another autocrat? And we come up immediately with the Five of Swords, which is an abuse of power, that says yes, but look, surrounded by all this compassion. Very interesting. The likely outcome of the first part of this, because I'm going to go the whole uh, Celtic cross on this one, uh, is, uh, okay, this is, <laughs> yeah, of course it is. This is the seven of uh, coins, and the seven of coins is wondering if you've ever, if you've done enough, if there's more to be done. This is just so perfect, because now it's talking about money, and, uh, and another autocrat would be in it for enrichment and power, and the seven of... of uh, coins, uh, seven of diamonds, uh, would be uh, looking at that bush with those coins growing on it and wondering, have I done enough? Is there more I could do? Could I take more off of that? Interesting. So let's see what the last four cards have to say with um, for this question. Will Putin be replaced by another autocrat? Will Putin be replaced by another autocrat? This is fascinating, this reading so far. Will Putin be replaced by another uh, autocrat? So we need four more cards right here. The self of that question, will he be replaced with another autocrat, is the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is moving out of troubled water. Interesting. So this is typically represented in the right away deck by uh, Six Swords uh, stuck into the bow of a boat and the boat's moving on and someone's pushing it forward. So the signifier of this question is moving out of troubled water. This is very fascinating. I'm seeing a good recap for this already. Uh, the environment that that's in then is the Seven of uh, Cups and the Seven of Cups is illusion and delusion. Wow. The um, hopes and affairs for that is this uh, Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is um, smallish celebrations. You'll remember this in the right away deck. That just, no, that's not, that's not what this is. Four of Swords is knowing when to take a break. Yeah. This is usually represented in the right away deck by uh, a soldier laying down on his uh, coffin or sarcophagus. There's four, three swords in the, in the sky kind of pointing down at him, kind of warning him not to get up too soon at his own peril, and one sword at his side for kind of protection. So the hopes and the fears is this four of swords knowing when to take a break. And then the final outcome for this whole thing as to whether Putin will uh, be replaced by another autocrat is this ten of swords, and the ten of swords is complete and utter downfall. This is in the right of waste deck. There's a body on the ground. There's ten swords in its back, and that set cycle is over. Okay, this is a stop. This is an end. So let's read this over again. And the question being uh, from Linda Joe, thank you for this question, by the way. And I'm so glad I used this deck. Uh, will Putin be replaced by another autocrat? And it starts out right away with the five of swords, abuse of power. Yes. However. Uh, the challenge to that is this Queen of Hearts, this Queen of Cups, uh, you know, a, a huge um, push of compassion. The base of the reading then with this Knight of, of Cups, this Knight of Hearts, is the Knight who's going to fight for that compassion. The past of this reading with this Three of Cups, this uh, Three of Hearts, is uh, are celebrations. So the fact that this is in the past... Uh, kind of makes me think that uh, there may be um, celebrations as to this the move over of this uh, new um, to this new uh, autocrat, and then the sky this reading with the ten of cups or the ten of hearts is the um, you know happy family um, uh, tons of um, emotional compassionate uh, satisfaction. So this uh, next autocrat will be surrounded by uh, love, really. Uh, so I would say this would be almost the, the guardrails against uh, his abuse. Then, then the final outcome for the thing is the seven of coins, and it's wondering, have I done enough? So it you, you, makes you think, uh, have these, these hearts done enough uh, to protect the country? Has this autocrat done enough to take out uh, what he wants? Very interesting. Then the uh, very self of that question right here with this uh, six of swords is moving out of troubled water. Okay, so it, it seems to me this is moving the country from one uh, governing um, idea towards another one. So an autocrat with a heart. <laughs> that's funny. And then the uh, the environment that that's in, however, with the seven of cups is illusion and delusion. Of course it is. 
And then the uh, sky of this reading is uh, this four of swords, which are uh, knowing when to take a beat, when to take a rest. And so this is going to be a very clever person with some, he wants to get his hands on the power, he wants to get his hands on the money, but he's surrounded somehow with all this compassion and um, knowing when, to, a, a clever uh, leader. And then uh, the final outcome with this ten of swords is that will be the end of a cycle. So however long that leader lasts, I think that will be the end of that autocratic cycle, hopefully, and maybe the next time around we'll get someone uh, more in line with uh, a democratic process, perhaps. I don't know. But that's the reading I got. I hope it's true-ish. And uh, there we go. I don't know. I hope that was what you expected. Uh, those cards are a little bit difficult for me to use, and uh, the de uh, uh, divinations aren't uh, typical for the Rider Waite uh, decks that I typically use. So tell me what you thought. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Okay, so these cards are, and it says, I love this, 78 Carta Superlux, uh, Piatnik. Um, so these are really cards for playing the game of tarot. I'm trying to see who uh, are they published by, but they're published by this Piatnik. So it sounds like some kind of uh, Russian uh, origin there. Inside, uh, this just tells you Game of Tarot and how to play the Tarachi, but it's in, um, I believe, French here, which I don't speak French, but I can figure out what it says if I really pay attention carefully. So I've tried a couple times to get a, a Tarot game, Tarachi game, going with these, but I wasn't patient enough to figure it all out. One day, one day I will. So that's the, I don't even know how you would order these. Um, um, just it's a tarot game. But uh, here, look at the cards anyway. So they're smallish, like kind of a little like regular playing cards, and they look like regular playing cards, except that they've got extra stuff on them. So there you go. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out, you would think. But uh, so I spread them out like this, and everybody gets a look, and uh, then we'll see what happens after that. Try to get these back in order without getting them too mixed up right from the beginning. And uh, we'll see if we can get something going with these cards. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. You really make a big difference. Thank you.